Okay, all right. So now we are, um, we'll be working on section 5.2. Our focus on this section is characteristics equation. Okay, if the matrix is given, how can we find the characteristics equation as well as how to find the eigenvalues? Okay, so we have two objectives, find the characteristics equation and characteristics polynomial as well and find eigenvalues of a given matrix, two by two and three by three sides. Basically, we'll focus on these two sides of a matrix, but we can extend that idea to four by four, five by five, but that's a, that's a lot of calculation. Um, so we don't do it here, but if you want, you can try that just for fun, okay? Now let's look at the definition. What, what is meant by characteristics equation? So here is the definition. The scalar equation determinant of A minus lambda I equal to zero is called the characteristics equation of A. So a scalar is an eigenvalue. We already know that the lambda eigenvalue of an N by N matrix A, if and only if it satisfies the characteristics, equ characteristics equation determinant of A minus lambda I equal to zero. And uh, what is the algebraic multiplicity. Well, the algebraic multiplicity of eigenvalue E is the power to which lambda minus E is the factor of characteristics equation or polynomial. So we'll talk about that in a minute. So algebraic multiplicity and geometric multiplicity. So we'll talk about this later with the examples, okay? So here is one example. Consider the matrix A where A is given by this matrix and uh, we need to find the characteristics equation and characteristics polynomial of A, and we need to find the real eigenvalues and their algebraic multiplicity. All right. So by definition, as we know that by definition, definition, characteristic equation is given by A minus lambda I determinant of this equals zero. So this equation is called the characteristics equation. So let us find, let us first calculate what is A minus lambda I. A is five zero 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 negative two, three, zero, zero, six, minus eight, five and zero, negative one, zero, four and one. A minus lambda I. So this one is four by four matrix. So one, zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one. Zero, 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 one. So if you subtract that, so this will be, if you multiply with lambda, you will be getting five zero zero zero, negative two three zero zero, six minus eight five zero, negative one zero four one, minus lambda zero zero zero, zero lambda zero zero, zero zero lambda zero, zero 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 lambda. And if you subtract that, so you're gonna get five minus lambda, zero 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 minus two three minus lambda zero zero six minus eight five minus lambda zero minus one zero four one one minus lambda so basically we want to find the determinant of that so determinant of let me just um, copy that a minus lambda i, five minus lambda, zero, 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 minus two, three minus lambda, zero, zero, six minus eight, five minus lambda, zero, minus one, zero, four, one minus lambda, equal zero. So this is our characteristics equation is given by this determinant. Now, to find the determinant, because this is a triangular matrix, 
And we know how to find the determinant for triangular matrix. We learned that in chapter three, okay? Since it is a triangular matrix, determinant is given by the product of the entries in the main diagonal, the entries in the main diagonal. So, five minus lambda, so entries in the main diagonal, this is the main diagonal, so the product will be five minus lambda, three minus lambda, five minus lambda, and one minus lambda equal to zero. So in another word, five minus lambda square, three minus lambda, and one minus lambda equal to zero. So this is the characteristics equations, all right? So this is the characteristic equation. Okay, this one. Now in the questions, we are asked to find the algebraic multiplicity as well. So in part A is done, part A is done. Now in part B, we want to find the algebraic multiplicity. So to find algebraic multiplicity, So if I solve this equation, so what I get is lambda equals five, that's one value. Another is lambda equals to three. Another is lambda equals to one. Now, lambda equals five. There are two of those fact factors. So you see the power is two. So that means there are five minus lambda times five minus lambda. So two times the factor comes into the equation. Therefore, algebraic multiplicity is al algebraic multiplicity equals two. Now for lambda equals three, this is this factor, three minus lambda. Okay, so three minus lambda is, um, now the power is one. So that means there is only one factor. So the algebraic multiplicity is algebraic multiplicity equals one. And for lambda equals one, which comes from that factor. So it also has uh, power one or you know, there is only one factor in the characteristic equation. So algebraic multiplicity equals one. All right, that's what the, that's how we can calculate characteristics equation and characteristics, um, I mean the, the multiplicity, algebraic multiplicity as well. But if you want to find the characteristics polynomial, okay, so what, what is, it, what it looks like? Let's look at that. So Let's look at characteristics polynomial. Let me just go here. Characteristic polynomial. So first of all, let me just copy the characteristics equation, which is five minus lambda square and three minus lambda and one minus lambda equals zero. That is our characteristic equation. So the polynomial is polynomial is given by this. It just you can you know let me represent that. So polynomial is Let me represent that by P, which is five minus lambda square and three minus lambda and one minus lambda, which is given by, um, if you multiply this, 
you will be getting lambda power 4 multiply all those factors you will get lambda power 4 minus 14 lambda cube plus 68 lambda square minus 130 lambda plus 75 okay equal 0 so this is called the characteristics polynomial And what are the eigenvalues? We already calculated the eigenvalues, lambda equal five, three, and one. All right, so let's move uh, forward. Example two, let A equals two, three, three, negative. This is a given matrix, find the eigenvalues of A. Okay, let us calculate eigenvalues of A. If it is a triangular matrix, then it's pretty easy. We just consider the you know, the, the entries in the main diagonal, but since this is not triangular, then we can't use the theorem that we learned in the previous section. Now, how to find the eigenvalues of A? Well, you just find the characteristics equation and solve it, all right? So, Consider the characteristics equation. So characteristics equation for this characteristic equation for A is given by determinant of A minus lambda I equals zero. So what is the, what is A minus lambda I? Let us calculate that. A minus lambda I equals two, three, three minus six minus lambda one, zero, zero, one. And if you work it out, you're gonna get two minus lambda and three, three, and negative six and uh, minus lambda. So basically, characteristics equation is given by determinant of two minus lambda and uh, three, three, negative six, negative lambda equals zero. So the determinant of this will be two minus lambda times negative six minus lambda minus nine equal to zero. So if you multiply these two factor and you will be getting the equation as lambda square plus four lambda minus 21 equal zero. So if you factor, factorize it, you will get lambda minus three and lambda plus seven equals zero. So, so eigenvalues are given by lambda minus three equal to zero and lambda plus lambda plus seven equal to zero. So this gives me lambda equals three and this gives me lambda equals negative seven. So, so here eigenvalue is three and the algebraic multiplicity is one. Algebraic multiplicity equals one and eigenvalue is negative seven and algebraic multiplicity equals also one. Okay. All right, now there is a relationship between what we learn in uh, chapter two, invertible matrix theorem, and then this eigenvalue and eigenvector. 
uh, I just want you to recall the theorem, invertible matrix theorem from chapter two and pay special attention on these, um, you know, these four properties, okay? Part A, part D, part H and T. So let A be a square N by N matrix, then the following statements are equivalent. That is for a given A, the statements are either all true or all false, okay? So if A is an invertible matrix, then the equation AX equal to zero has only the trivial solution. In another word, that is no free variable, okay? And the number zero is not an eigenvalue of A and the determinant of A is not zero. Now with this properties, let's look at theorem three. Uh, properties of determinant. I want you to recall this properties of determinant. Sometimes it will be really beneficial and useful to use those properties that will uh, save a lot of time in calculations, okay? So if let A and B be N by N matrix, A is invertible if and only if determinant of A not equal to zero, determinant of A transpose equal to determinant of A, determinant of AB equals determinant of A times determinant of B, and uh, so on. Now, characteristics polynomial, I think we already discussed that previously. Now let's look at example three. If determinant of A minus lambda I is given by this equation. Okay, given by, by these product of these fact factors, then find the eigenvalue of A and their algebraic multiplicity. So we know by definition, by definition, characteristic equation is given by determinant of A minus lambda I equals zero. So that means lambda minus two cube, lambda plus one, lambda minus one square equal to zero. So solving this, solving this equation, we get lambda equals two, lambda equals negative one, and lambda equals one. So lambda equals two is one of the eigenvalues. So the multiplicity, algebraic multiplicity equals, because there are three factors of lambda minus two, as you can see the power three. So algebraic multiplicity is three and uh, for lambda equals one, this is coming from the second factor. So algebraic multiplicity is negative one, sorry, just one, because the power is only one factor there. So the power is one, so multiplicity negative one. And uh, for lambda equals one, so algebraic multiplicity is two, because you see the power here too, there are two of those factors. Now let's look at example four. If the characteristics equation of a four by four matrix is given by this, characteristics polynomial is given by this, uh, lambda power four minus two lambda cube minus eight lambda square, find the eigenvalues and their algebraic multiplicity. So basically, you know, uh, the, the characteristics polynomial is given. So by definition, uh, characteristics equation will be lambda square characteristic equation is given by lambda power four minus two lambda q minus eight lambda square equal to zero. So lambda square common remaining lambda square minus two lambda minus eight equal to zero. So we'll have lambda square and if you um, if you factor them out, you're gonna get lambda minus four and lambda plus two equal to zero. And so uh, 
so eigenvalues with eigenvalues with their algebraic multiplicity are given by lambda equals zero and another eigenvalue is lambda equals four another is lambda equals negative two and then the algebraic multiplicity is multiplicity equals as you can see for lambda equal to zero is coming from the first factor lambda square and the power is two therefore algebraic multiplicity is two uh, lambda equals four is coming from the second factor so algebraic multiplicity because the power of the second factor is simply one so it is one and uh, in the same manner algebraic multiplicity for lambda equals negative two is also one Okay. Okay, so the next concept that we'll be talking about is uh, similarity. So basically, this is a very important concept for the next section that next topics that we'll be uh, doing uh, in section 5.3. Um, so what is similarity? Let us look at the definition, okay? If A and B are n by n matrix, then A is similar to B if there is an invertible matrix P such that P inverse AP equals B or equivalently A equals P, B, P inverse, okay? So note that it follows easily that if A is similar to B, then B is similar to A. So just keep that in mind. If A is similar to B, then B is similar to A. So changing A into P inverse AP is called the similarity transformation. So let's look at the look at theorem number four. If n by n matrix A and B are similar, if A and B are similar, then they have the same characteristics polynomial or characteristics equation and hence the same eigenvalues with the same multiplicity. Very important theorem, okay? If A and B are similar, that means those metrics must have the same characteristics equation or polynomial and therefore they must have the same eigenvalues with the same multiplicity. Now let's look at the proof. So by definition, so by definition, if B equals P inverse AP, then I can write this as B minus lambda I. This can be written as equals P inverse AP minus lambda I. I subtract lambda I both sides. So I can do you know, it's equation, so I can do the same thing both side, okay? Now, remember, I means it's a unit matrix, okay? So unit matrix means for I, I can write P inverse P, or I can write, um, you know, P, P inverse as well if I want. Now, let's look at this. B minus lambda I, I just copy this from here to there, B minus lambda I equals P inverse AP minus lambda I, I replace that I by P inverse P, okay? So this is I. So I replace that I here by P inverse P. And so now I can take P inverse common, so the remaining is AP minus lambda P, okay? If I take P inverse common, then that's what is remaining. So that means P inverse and A minus, I can take the P common on the right hand side of this factor. So P inverse, A minus lambda P. You should be very careful uh, in, in the positions, okay, where the position is because AB or AP may not be equal to PA in matrix multiplication, commutative law doesn't work. So therefore, pay attention to the, to the place, okay? So, so 
So now I can write that because b minus lambda i equals p inverse a minus lambda and p, I can take the determinant. This is a matrix, this is another matrix. If the two matrix are equal, that means the determinant must be equal. So the determinant of b minus lambda i must be equal to determinant of p inverse a minus lambda p. All right. Now, using the rule of determinant, as we know that determinant of a b must be, you know, is equal to determinant of a times determinant of b. We know this rule from chapter three. So we're going to use that rule. So determinant of p inverse and determinant of a minus lambda and determinant of p. All right, using this rule. So, so determinant of p inverse and determinant of p, you know that determinant of p inverse and determinant of p must be equal to determinant of p inverse and p inverse p, which is actually one or i, okay? So this will be simply one. Because you see this determinant of P inverse P, which means determinant of I. So determinant of I is one, we know this. So we have proved that determinant of B minus lambda I is equal to determinant of A minus lambda I. So which says exactly that A and B have the same characteristics equation or characteristics polynomial and if they have the same characteristics equation or polynomial, that means they must have the same eigenvalues with the same multiplicity. So we're going to use this concept in our next, um, con you know, next next lesson 5.3 uh, when we are working with diagonalization. So a couple of things to keep in mind. Okay, here is some warning. Two metrics can have the same eigenvalues, but not be similar. That is possible. If two metrics have the same eigenvalues, does not necessarily mean they are similar. But the converse, if they are similar, then they must have the same eigenvalues with the same multiplicity. But same eigenvalue does not necessarily mean that the matrix are similar. Keep that in mind. Similarity is not the same as row equivalence. Row operation usually changes the eigenvalue. Also keep this in mind, okay?